Okay, so the next question that we have on the menu today is asking us, what is the atomic mass of an atom that has six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons? So six, uh, let's write that out, six protons, six electrons, and six um, neutrons. Now for the chemistry type people in the crowd, we can see that this is a carbon 12. This, or, or this is carbon. It has to be carbon because six protons. I'm going to check my periodic table real fast. Yep, that's carbon. Got a new poster of it. It's pretty cool. It's definitely uh, carbon. Six protons, six electrons, and six neutrons. Now, when we think about atomic mass, it is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Number of neutrons. Okay, in this case, our number of protons, that is six. Our number of neutrons, that is also six. So our atomic mass is 12. Okay, now why don't we care about the electrons? Why is, not, why is electrons feeling left out of this equation? Now the reason why is because electrons are very, very, very small compared to um, the mass of an, a neutron or a proton. So the mass of a proton Of proton is a 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms fairly light but and the mass of a neutron this is about equal about equal to neutron mass and the mass of an electron is, um, I believe it is nine, uh, let's actually Google that real fast, because we got the power of the internet, mass of electron, uh, it's, I think it's 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31, oh wow, would you look at that, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms, that's the mass of an electron, that's uh, quite light, but if we look at the orders of magnitude, we can see that the mass of an electron is like four orders of magnitude um, smaller than the mass of a proton. Okay, so if we wanted to see how many times bigger a proton is by than an electron, if we did like uh, one point, oops, not 16, 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms divide by 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. Put that in our calculator. 7 times 10 to the power of 27 divide by 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 and um, oops change something real fast. Forgot the negative in one of my uh, calculator calculations. That is not great. Uh, but we got it now. And this is about 1833. Um, um, just about equal. So that means that protons are, are 1833 times more massive than electrons. That could be like comparing the mass of a grape to the mass of a truck. Like, you know, does the mass of a, should we worry about the mass of the truck if we add in like five extra grapes into the back of it? Not really, because the mass of a grape is so insignificant compared to the mass of the, uh, of the truck. Kind of like how the mass of an electron is so insignificant compared to the mass of a proton. Um, it's not even 
worth uh, keeping track of in terms of atomic mass. And um, a lot of the times, as you'll see more in your chemistry classes, you'll see that electrons don't even stay around that much anyways. So um, electrons are move around a lot. So, so yeah, they, uh, yeah, the above answer is good. Is good, but could be better with mention of how protons and neutrons are 1800 times more massive than electrons, which is why electrons are ignored in atomic mass calculations. Okay, cool. Thank you.